In this video, we're going to go over setting up a CO2 injector. Now, if you wish to control the CO2 level in your facility with the Iponic 614, you're going to want to make sure that the equipment is selected using the same equipment procedure that we went through in previous videos, like with our lights. So we'll just go ahead and hit OK, go into System Setup, Equipment Setup, Quick Setup, and now we just want to make sure that our CO2 is checked off, which right now it's not. So we're going to go ahead and check it. And now the first time you set this up, um, when you save it for the first time, you're actually going to be prompted to choose whether you're going to be using a CO2 tank or a CO2 generator. It's not going to prompt me because I already have this set up. Uh, basically the difference is a CO2 tank is going to run according to a default on-off cycle. So the CO2 tank will either turn on or it'll turn off. Now this can be altered through the advanced programming options that we'll go over in a later video. Uh, whereas a generator will run whenever the CO2 that's measured in the growing environment falls below your target in PPMs. So assuming you have a less than, uh, let's say a, a small uh, less than one amp CO2 valve for your CO2 output, then this equipment type can be plugged directly into output number two on the Iponic 614 unit. So now that I've got my CO2 selected, I'm just going to hit the home button and it'll say my settings might reset, so I'll say OK and it'll ask me to save the changes. And I'm done. Now my CO2 is set on number two and it's set to auto and that's all there is to it.